voltage. Elsewhere, it's mentioned exponential relationships, so it's not sure what the zero produces. It's not only while you're charging it or even after it's fully charged. Uh, he noted in his experiments that uh, it would be maintained even when it was uh, just fully charged without any leakage. In, in your equations up there, you implied that during the act of charging, there's a charge. Uh, well, I, I didn't have any real equation, just so proportional to. Okay. Okay. Yes, there was an equation about that comment. Well, I see. Uh, huh? Hundred uh, hard to say because there's a lot of leakage. Well, you you can do it, but uh, you see, you can do it, but uh, for the amateur research, it's a little tough. Probably the easiest way is to make like a resistor divider. I'm sorry, what? How do I? Can this go off? Is there a motor driver for this? There we go. I notice how it keeps speeding up all the time. I think it's at almost a constant velocity now. Yeah, I think it's a constant velocity. Uh, the thing that you note is that uh, this hasn't been the fastest rotation rate people have gotten. Probably the fastest I've seen in the literature is Larry Davenport's device. He's gotten up to 60 RPM. Uh, and this is maybe, I don't know what this is, probably close to 12 that we have here, which is the fastest we've gotten so far. Uh, however, his devices are maybe at most yay big. This is the largest electric rig in peacetime in the world right now. And Brown's original three-foot disc, which uh, caused classification in 1995, how are, 1955. How are we for time? I'll that another 20 minutes. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, can we kill this? Okay, throttle, throttle the power down now. The Variac, the variable power supply. Variac is just a transformer and just controls the input voltage. Tends to one of the things about high voltage research is that you want to ground everything else that's close to it too, because it tends to ionize. Uh, it tends to accumulate charge on nearby objects. And shoot, uh, charge up capacitors and charge up anything metal that's around. I once had a professor at the at college who mentioned uh, people getting vaporized by it. But, uh, I think. Uh, I think it's a little bit exaggerated. Yeah. Thanks. I think it's a little bit exaggerated. Can you electric on it? Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, it's okay. Um, we could try now. Is maybe putting a bag over it. We haven't actually done this test before. To see uh, how much of an influence is due to ion wind. Because one of the things you see is, yeah, there is a lot of ion wind, and uh, how much of that is just due to force due to that, how much is due to field effects. We, we want to eliminate ion wind as a thrust component. And how much is due to some anomalous phenomenon. Mm -hmm. 